You have paid your dues, and my power is yours. My, my. Such a fair creature to grace my forest. But what's this? Tears on your face. Why do you weep, dear one? You are young and fair, and this is the day you humans think of love so fondly. Surely the ills of the world have not been so great that it has changed the day that you are meant to celebrate love. You wish me to save a life? Many are ill. Many are dying. Why are you coming to me? Why is your life worth so much more than others? Ah, it is for your love. He must be worth a great deal to you that you would seek out the deep river, God. But what of the men of medicine among you humans? The ones who will attach various insects to bodies or cut out parts to return the spirit to proper balance, as it were. Oh, please. Don't weep any more. I can see that you have done all that is in your power. Of course you'd try anything at this point. Yes, I can cure him. But what would you give in return? I'm a merciful god, but not a charitable one. I do expect something from my efforts. You wish to marry him? Wonderful indeed. But why tell me? No. I have no interest in marrying a human, so you may rest your mind easy. But why wouldn't you wait to marry him until such a time when the future is more... assured? With such a plague in your villages, would it not be better to find a day in the far future? I see. You are all alone, save for him. Well, that is sweet. But I have no interest in a wedding invitation. No, I need a more... appropriate payment. Jewels, finery, all of that is meaningless to me. As for money, honestly, I can't do much with it. The coin you tossed in is more to get my attention. It does shine so. So, what else can you offer? <laughs> you would give me your virtue? A lifetime of waiting to be with the man you love, and you would give it up to save him? Such a noble gesture. So, if I give your beloved his health, you will give me your wedding night. Yes, that is a fair payment. It will be done. <laughs> Come now, don't undress here. This is hardly the place for such intimacy, and hardly the time either. We have a bridegroom to save. Now, go to your beloved's house and await me there. I must collect a few needed things. Now then, where is my patient? What a lovely home you have. Is there no one else here? Ah, you truly are alone then. Well, so much the easier for me. The fewer questions, the better. Now, let's take a look. Hmm. Well, 
You must have exhausted every other choice. His condition is serious. But have no fear. I'll keep my promise. Now then. These herbs... Yes. Must be brewed into a broth. Fetch a bucket of water and boil it. What? What magic? Oh. You humans. Sometimes you are so foolish. There is no greater magic than what nature has provided for you if you use your minds. Hurry now. It is nearly done now. Tell me, how did you two meet? Childhood sweethearts. Oh. So this is the house of your parents. And he, your father's squire, stayed to assist you after their deaths. So... Young love from even childhood. <sighs> I loved like that once. Another goddess. One whose beauty and grace shimmered through the currents of my rivers. Even to this day, that shimmer draws me out, and <laughs> I cannot help but feel the pangs of sadness when it proves to be another. But no matter. We have a love to save in the present. Now, let's get him to drink this, and by morning, he'll be much better. Sit him up and help him drink. There. There. Well done. Do so twice a day for the next week. The broth need only be heated again each time. But next week... It will be as if he was never ill. Oh, no need for thanks. I only ask that you remember our deal. When is the momentous day? Ah, Valentine's Day. How truly romantic. Well, you have no time. <laughs> A year will go very quickly. Nonsense. You promised me your wedding night, and I shall collect when the time comes. Shall we seal the promise? A kiss should do. Now, don't look so downhearted. You have your husband to be and a bright future ahead of you. A small kiss shouldn't be the reason for such a frown. <sighs> so we are in agreement. And you, fair one, until we meet again. <laughs>